Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing type number 10 periodic function of Laplace transform. We will see the definition and we will solve one problem on it. Welcome back friends, let us discuss type number 10 periodic function. Now here the definition is given to us if f of t is periodic with period a then Laplace of f of t is this definition. Obviously, we know the periodic function, right? What does what do you mean by periodic function? A function which repeats itself after a particular interval is called periodic function. If a function is periodic, then its Laplace is given by this particular formula. Here, uh, we are given with the first problem. Now, we are going to solve this particular problem to understand this definition. So, let us discuss the first problem. f of t is equal to t and the interval is 0 less than t less than 1 equal to 0 1 is less than t less than 2 and this line indicates it's a periodic function see here what does uh, this line indicate or uh, f of t plus 2 equal to f of t means this particular function f of t is repeating itself after every two interval f of t plus 2 is equal to f of t means this function is repeating itself after every two interval therefore by looking at this you can say the period of this particular function is a is equal to 2. So this line is indicating that the function is periodic. In type number 9 based on definition we solved similar type of problem. See the reason one more reason of uh, keeping type number 9 that is based on definition uh, so uh, late because you can compare type number 9 and type number 10. See problem is looking similar to type number 9 but what is the difference in type number 9 if you observe this interval is going from 0 to infinity go back and check the first problem was f of t is equal to t in the interval 0 to 4 equal to 5 t greater than 4 that means the interval range was uh, from 0 to infinity. But here interval range is not from 0 to infinity. See the interval range. It's from 0 to 2 and it's given 2 is a periodic function. So both the problems should be given different treatment. Are you clear with this? In the exam, please don't get confused. The problem will look like same whether it is it's uh, based on definition or it's based on periodic function that you need to understand. If the limits are intervals or limits you can say from 0 to infinity, it will be type 9. And if it has a restriction in restricted interval like 0 to 2 and this indicates that after every two interval this function will be repeated therefore it has to be periodic and if the function is periodic I am going to use this particular formula. So let us solve this. This is 1 upon 1 minus e raised to c here minus a s and what is the value of a? a is the period. So from this we got the period as 2. This will be from 0 to 2 because the period is 2 and inside it is a e raised to minus st ft dt. That's it. Now it's very simple. Just put in the formula, get the result and the work is done. So let's do it. 1 minus e raised to minus 2s. This is from 0 to 2. So 0 to 2 is divided into 2, 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. So first of all, I'm going to consider it from 0 to 1 e raised to minus st and from 0 to 1 the value is t and from 1 to 2 see here from 1 to 2 the value is 0 so it will be 0 here. So this integration will be gone because 0 integration is 0 so this will be gone and we will be left with this. So let us simplify this. Yes, please. In the last uh, videos we discussed u into v rule the same way because it's an algebraic function. It's an exponential function log inverse algebraic trigonometric exponential. This will be u. This will be v. Let us wind up quickly. u as it is means t as it is integration of the second term e raised to minus st integration is e raised to minus st upon minus s derivative of t is 1 integration of this particular term is e raised to minus st upon 
here already we have minus s and through this integration we will again get minus s this minus s and here also minus s minus s minus s will become s square no need to go ahead because this derivative will be 0 and here the limits are from 0 to 1 let us put the values upper limit in place of t I am going to put 1 so this will be 1 and in place of t I am going to put 1 so this will be e raised to minus s upon minus s minus in place of t if you put 1 again it will be minus s upon s square upper limit done minus lower limit if you want to put 0 in place of t the entire term will become 0 why in place of t 0 0 into anything is 0 the entire term will be 0 will be left with this only so this minus and if you put t as 0 this will become this entire will become 0 e raised to 0 and what is e raised to 0 1 so that is 1 upon s square so that's it that's your required solution if you want to simplify you can simplify it further I am keeping it as it is you can also keep it as it is so this is minus e raised to minus s upon s this is e raised to minus s upon s square this minus minus is plus so that is the required solution for this particular problem so only formula is there and if you know the procedure put in the formula and get this result so this is the first problem of periodic function in the next videos we'll discuss few more examples thank you